Would you say that he helped start the Republican Party? He, well, he, you know, he certainly was given credit for that, and he would have loved to have, he would have loved to be able to run for president himself. But he was very critical in the early days, uh, a big supporter, a big speaker, a stump speaker for the, for especially uh, John C. Fremont, who was the first of the Republican candidates who did not win. But he remained a staunch and important Republican. But remember that Republicans were a very different animal back in the 19th century. They were the party of education, of anti-slavery, of taxing people for the common good, all the things that we now would uh, not perhaps associate with, uh, with the Republicans. Uh, up until the very end of his life when uh, he did not like the Republican candidate in the 1880s and switched, which was yeah. considered a, a, a grave, a grave moment of traitor, of being a traitor. So would you say that, you know, he, he sort of died a more of a modern progressive, modern day progressive? Well, it's funny. So uh, we haven't yet talked about sort of the climax of his career uh, when he really gets into trouble with his scandal. Um, but up until his scandal, he is becoming more and more liberal, more and more progressive. He was a big believer in science. He was a big mm -hmm. believer in evolution uh, and preached that evolution was perfectly compatible with the Bible. Um, he, uh, was, he, he read people like Emerson, who many religious people thought was leading everyone down the primrose path. But once he has his scandal, mm -hmm. he becomes more conservative. He, he's pushed back on his heels. 